the stupidest fight my boyfriend. Well, okay. It was more of a mild disagreement than a fight. But it was still ridiculous. It all started when I said something about his tank top. What's the difference, you may ask? Well, in my opinion, the answer is very little. According to Mark, there's actually a big difference. We both shrugged off the conversation because it didn't really matter in the long run. But recently, the term bro tank came across my Instagram feed. I hadn't heard that phrase since our conversation, and I was procrastinating. So I thought, why not? I dug a little deeper into the subject. As it turns out, the difference between a tank top and a bro tank is subtle but specific. How are bro tanks and tank tops similar? How are bro tanks and tank tops similar? Honestly, in almost all ways other than the name, these two garments are the same. Tank tops and bro tanks are both sleeveless tops. They come in different lengths and styles, and they're usually made from con and polyester. Bro tanks and tank tops are both designed for breathability. The higher the con percentage, the more breathable your garment will be. However, a higher con percentage also means a higher chance that your garment will shrink in the dryer. If you're looking at 100% con tanks, either buy a pre-shrunk garment or buy a size up from you. Both bro tanks and tank tops have a wide range of prices. You can find a tank top or bro tank for about $5, $7 on the cheaper end. I've also seen both options for $50 or more, and there are plenty of options in between. Garment durability depends on a few factors, including how well the tank was made. The biggest difference between a bro tank and a tank top is that men usually wear the former, while women usually wear the latter. Now, if a man hates the term tank top on the sole basis of tank tops are for girls, then that's a red flag. That said, there are a couple of other differences. Those differences are just really subtle. For example, the term tank top is more of a catch-all term. It applies to all lengths, fits, and styles. Tank tops can be casual if worn on their own. They can also be formal or professional if you wear one under a shirt or jacket. A bro tank, on the other hand, is always loose, always casual, and it's designed to be worn on its own. Because it's so loose, you can't really layer anything else on top of it. That's why bro tanks are usually worn at the gym, the beach, and similar places. Keep in mind that a bro tank is not a rib tank, which is another style often worn by men, while rib tanks can be worn on their own. They're also tight enough that a person could wear one underneath a shirt. Prints and designs. One thing I've noticed about bro tanks is that many of them draw attention to themselves. Bright colors, bold designs, and block letters abound. Tank tops tend to come in solid colors. After all, they're designed for versatility, while bro tanks are designed for the gym. A solid color tank top works with all kinds of outfit. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule. You can absolutely find plain bro tanks, just like you can find tank tops with bold prints. You may just have to look a little harder to find them. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you are helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.